Hi, welcome back to my cup of TV with Jenny and Erin. So here we have episode four of season four, Stranger Things. Um, it's called Dear Billy. So this has got to be about Max's mm -hmm. trauma. Yeah. I just feel a bit smug. But <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, let's just hope that they've got the actor back for recording new scenes, just because he was a really good actor. I know, I miss him. Yeah, so nice to look at. Maybe we we could have flashbacks to when he used to work at the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Although, maybe after the time in the... Will he be in the episode? I don't know. Maybe maybe he won't look so pretty because those other people weren't... And the other people's yeah, things were like... Mm. Yeah, like they were rotting away. and Yeah. It's still um, pretty. So please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And over on Patreon, uh, you can watch these reactions in full length and obviously way ahead of YouTube. We're not the ones in danger. Our friends live in Hawking. My family lives in Hawking. And I'll work to contain the situation until Eleven is ready. In the meantime, it is of vital importance that you do not speak to anyone about this. No, <laughs> no way. They're going straight to Hawking. Yeah. It's difficult. This is impossible. There are that pizza van. Within our government. Yeah, who are working straight. directly. Chrissy said extra a week ago. Right, six days ago. Has five. I've been having them for five days. Oh. I don't know how long they have. All I know is that for Fred and Chrissy, they both died less than 24 hours after their first vision. Oh. And I just saw that goddamn clock, so. Looks like I'm gonna die tomorrow. Is it Lucas? Stay here. Steve had his ass beat. He was the first one out there, yeah, to protect him. Wait, 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 wait a second. Uh, where's mine? You're babysitting. Okay, first of all, they're not babies anymore. And Max is in real danger. She needs people around. This is a lifelong student of the world, and if we're gonna win him over, we're gonna have to convince him that we are too. That like him, <laughs> we are true academic scholars. Very good boy. <laughs> a ransom exchange. For that, for that, I think you very much need to be on time. <laughs> I know you guys are staring. Really? You said you something? I know. How you think your eyes boring into the back of my head is protecting you from Vecna? Maybe she feels like if she deals with it, maybe he can't get her. Like Robin's gonna save it somehow. Yeah. The fact of the matter is, we did put a request once ago and we're denied. Yes. And then we reapplied and we're denied again. And coming here was our last ditch effort to save our thesis. I'll tell you the truth, Anthony. May I call you Anthony? These aren't actually my clothes. I borrowed them because I wanted you to take us seriously. Because nobody takes girls seriously in this field. They just don't. Yeah. We don't look At least you use the disadvantage. Yeah. Let's 
It's a totally fascinating why it works. So, yes, we've the official. <laughs> She's good. Yes. Yeah. Tell me the crybaby Petey McHugh wouldn't have gotten an audience with Victor in a matter of moments if he'd asked politely because you and I both know that he would. Well done. Nancy better be nice to her now. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't know how to tell you this, but you're a day late. God. You see, damage to this house. Yuri was a sightseeing trip to see polar bears. Like his Yuri. Yeah. Bears got him to buy me and pull him out of cockpit <laughs> and kill Yuri. No. How did the plane get back? Bears. They broke his heart. Concern with him is is this an act to make you let your guard down and think he's not a threat? Yeah. Oh, he's gonna slip it off. I can't look again. What is gonna do? Uh, yeah. You can't let that gun go off. No. that her mum seemed to be like acting yeah are we gonna have like a Hannibal Lecter type deal yes we are <gasps> did he claw his own eyes out so they're gonna sneak out and get into the back of the van <laughs> Go, 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 go. Jonathan! Go, get the hell out! As soon as you hit gunshots, you go. <gasps> what is wrong with this season? At least now he's doing his job. Oh, Jesus! I mean... He's got no protective no. armor on, and he is going and he's out. He's getting it from all angles. Yeah, but and he is keeping on them. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, they got, they him. got him. Good for them. Yeah. Because go. go.
Because do you know what? I know we were like, oh, these guys. He, yeah. yeah. That's... Uh, what is wrong with this season? It's keeping me so on edge. <laughs> Turned him in. Oh, you. Oh, a dirty guard. Ah, Joyce. Oh, he's drugged them. Oh. He's going to put them on the plane of flying there, isn't he? Maybe okay, but like the closure will save her. Yeah, she doesn't have the same fear. Sounded like Billy. Maybe Lucas can get. Maybe the angel he heard was his daughter. But like it has to be someone close enough to pull yeah. you out. And maybe Lucas can get her out. I really feel like Lucas can Don't get through a familiar song. song. So if they can get to her and she comes out, does that mean it can't get her again? I don't know, but as long as someone sticks with her that knows to do this, do you know what I mean? You can at least, whilst you're working things out, keep her safe. I'm glad that he's gone with the whole can't explain it right yeah, now, just tell just me. me. Yeah. yeah. It's the house. You know what, Erin? Go to the house, burn it to the ground. Yes.
run! No, don't. That's a don't end it. Oh, God. God, my eyes are streaming. <laughs> Did you see what happened? <laughs> oh, I can even see my mascara smudged from here. Oh, you know what? I was doing okay. I made it through the the billy letter without going no need chocolate yeah can I have <laughs> it was as soon as you started seeing the stuff with Lucas mm, no I was crying with the billy letter um it's, I've always said to you it's the like the, the that emotional stuff mm. that realisation it's like you don't need to be oh it's so like you don't cry for the person that's died you cry for the people left behind that are dealing with that emotion, you know? Can you imagine them... <laughs> I'm getting so emotional. Standing there, watching that, and you, like... Knowing what could be, what's about so to happen to her. Like, helpless. Yeah. And all those, like, lovely memories. Yeah. And it's such, like, a representation of, like... Depression, and I guess people that in some respects take their own lives because maybe if they saw all those good yeah. bits they could well, they give them some fight I did wonder if they were going to broach that topic just because of it being such a gruesome death whether she would say and because she's such a I say like a strong person in that kind of I'm not going to let him take me kind of thing whether she yeah. would go down that road or at least consider it or it would come up it sounded like she had considered it other mm. than they were saying you know even those nights when yeah. you thought about joining me. Oh, that was... It was so sad to hear about her guilt with Billy, that kind of, I replay it and I could have, what if I'd have done this, what if I'd have done that? And the fact that nobody knows yeah. about his redemption and it's yeah. always the redemption that's such a... Yeah. Such an important part, part of the story. And so... And they were in a town where, let's be honest, no one cared about Billy. No, no one. So it's not Billy like the outpouring of grief that Hopper would have had, or the other people would have had. And no one would have believed her genuine yeah. grief, would they? No. And I'm glad she said that she tried to be alright for a while, because I do obviously remember at the end of last season, <coughs> she was quite like fun and jokey, mm -hmm. and I wonder if that did trickle in, if like grief doesn't... It doesn't just arrive and then. But I, I feel like her um, letting in those memories with Lucas that brought her back, I feel like that was her maybe finally saying it's okay to still have happy times. Do you know what I mean? Like we said before about the grief that you feel guilty if something, if you feel any moment of happiness, you feel guilty about it. Mm. And that's probably why she's pushed them all away. So, oh. I think the vulnerable people are the ones that are, like, alone and isolated and have had, like, trauma or something yeah. and aren't confiding because if you go all the way back to Victor, he, he was obviously never confiding in anyone about what had gone about through, yeah. What had happened I don't know why it was then able to take his kids and wife and whatever the boy is never going to have confided in anyone no. about the car and I mean um, Chrissy is yeah. that name? I don't know I mean, maybe if she was bulimic. Yeah. Confiding anyone about how lonely that can make her. But her stuff to do with her mother. 
did something happen with her mother that maybe we're not picking up on? Maybe it's about the weight though. Oh, okay. Because she was thinking about letting yeah. it out. Maybe that might play into mm. it. Um, but yeah, those very like isolated people, souls, and maybe that's what he's listening out for. Yeah. Oh, that's really drained me. I tell you now, if that had ended there, there is no way I'd have been sat here talking. I'd no. have just made you stick the next one on because I actually wouldn't have been able to cope. Um, I had a huge fear when she was running and all stuff was falling that it was going to stop her just before she got there. And that we were going to lose her. Because oh. sometimes when you give a character their redemption arc, yeah. or... Like for Billy. Then that's it. Yeah. They had his moment of redemption and killed him. Or, you know, the two characters that get together. Like like Joyce and Hopper, they finally... Yeah. They're going to go on their date. The they... only thing that was keeping me back was I was like, she hadn't told Lucas. Yeah. If she'd have said everything she needed to say then, mm. I'd be like, yeah. definitely going to die. I don't... I. Can he pull her back in now? I don't know. But they know how to get her out. And now she knows how to get out. Well, maybe he can't pull her back in because she now won't be... She's accepted her guilt and she's not lonely. She was able to hurt him. Mm, But it grew back. Yeah. So... I'm trying to think what else happened in the episode like were you all as much of a mess as we were or are we just like <laughs> is it because it's Max um I couldn't lose her I'm trying to think what else happened in this episode um Yuri Yuri I like you Yuri I'm suspicious but ah from the get go pilot's mm. the problem so now what They've got Joyce, Murray, and Hopper. How are they getting out of that? Well, unless they're going to ship them. Because they said, you know who pays most for Americans? KGB. Mm. So I wonder if now they're all going to go back to where the demigorgon is. Yeah. Rather than that, like, nicer facility. Mm. Yeah, I can't see where that story's going. Do you know what I mean? As long, I mean, I, I trust them Yeah. that it's not just to have them out of the picture. Although it is yeah. partly that. Uh, but um, what happened at the buyer's house? Oh my God, fair play to that guy yeah. who was with them because he really fought for them. Yeah. And then he was a badass. They're all in military gear, assault rifles, and he's just taking them out. I mean, an element obviously will be self-preservation yeah. because if there's that many people coming in, yeah, if you stick your hands up, they they're gonna shoot you. Like yeah. th- that's the type of thing it is. But the I shoot you run. Yeah. But I love that they took him with them when he was hit. They yeah they didn't just run and go. Which is what he wanted them to do. But also, when you think about it, that looked like military that were coming in. Yeah, with assault rifles, coming from all angles, yet he took them out with a a pistol, a handgun. Um, Because, like, but they did it in a really good way, because a part of you would go, well, that's not believable. But he was so methodically organised in what he was doing. Do you know what I mean? He really kept a cool head. That it didn't seem ridiculous that he was able to do that. And we saw him reload, which is always an issue in these shows, is that no one has to reload a gun. And to be fair, it was after the reload. I know he didn't get shot. No, because then he came. It was when they went round, I think he got shot through the wall, because their walls are like wood. But also, you have to ask would the army be expecting anything like that to have been there so were they maybe not expecting Mm. to go in against someone and they just were having exits covered and then when they were hearing responses yeah then 
sending more. But in. were they? Did they go in with weapons like that because they were expecting an eleven? Yeah, I think they were going yeah. to kill her. But they were expecting her with powers to be there, and that's why they went in so heavy-handed. And that might explain why they went in in like twos. Yeah. Just to keep. Because let's be honest. The first of the guys that were there, he opened the front door, and the guy shot him immediately. So they were going to shoot whoever yeah. they came across with. It could have been. It could be Joyce. Jonathan that opened the door. Yeah. You know what I mean, it's. I think well, would they were they going to kill them? It looks like they were if they just shot on. As soon as the door's open. Yeah, I think it would just be a for the greater good. Yeah. They need to get out of that piece of hand. It's very recognisable. Yes. <laughs> but what I what's really interesting is because we right at the beginning, Joyce is like drive slowly like we see that he drives like a maniac yeah. so him then driving like a maniac now isn't yeah you know something new like i couldn't just start driving like a maniac yeah so yeah it's yeah. very true to your own yeah. characters and their abilities and i like that we're seeing jonathan step up now like he's starting to think he's he's not smoking anything he's yeah. starting to think more it's quite that, logically back to Jonathan and that's a really good thing because you know when you see films I know people say like you know they were drugging and they clicked out of it yeah within yeah. Le- within reason let's be reasonable yeah. and it it is very authentic that he was very stoned and is and that he wouldn't be able to smoke it with them there no and so he's slowly come out of it and he is clearing yeah. his head and able to actually... Yeah. And obviously with a kick of adrenaline. Yeah. But is able to react. Nice moments between um, Mike and Will. Yes. And again, I might be a bit harsh on Will. On oh, Will? I'm oh, sorry, on oh, Mike. I was going to say. You leave Will alone! No, never. He's been for enough, he doesn't need you! Go <laughs> at him! He just... I feel like he kind of told him what he wanted to hear, maybe because that's what he needed him to hear to get him on the side. It was friends. Best friends. I don't know. I'm, I think it's because I'm very protective of Will. Yeah. That I'm like, I hope you're... Genuine. Yeah. And I'm, like we said, I, Mike is not... Bad, no. but I also don't think he's the the best mm. of the best. And he put Paul back to the painting. Yeah, Ooh. I was ready for that to like. I'm ready for that to be at someone's funeral. Mm. I feel like it's a painting of all of them together. Someone, someone's gonna die. So like, yeah, someone will. Can't go there. We just saved Max. Can't. Um, and then Nancy and Robin at the asylum. It's the typical your approach doesn't work everywhere. Yeah. And you have to bounce off other people. Yeah. And it's a gamble that Robin took. And it paid off. They weren't getting anywhere anyway, so they couldn't... No. What, yeah. What they have to lose. Exactly. Um, and it seems like... Maybe they'll... <laughs> <laughs> it seems like... <laughs> maybe they'll try... They'll, they'll start to understand each other a bit yeah. better now. Hmm. I do think it... To be honest, I think it's more of like a bit of a... Personalities clash and a bit of annoyance... Yeah, I don't think they'd ever be really good friends. But no. to find a way to make it work. Because if it wasn't for all of this stuff going on, they wouldn't be around one another. Mm. They'd have no reason no. to interact. So Steve was very worried about them being there. He didn't want to be without like the batteries and the phone. The... Yeah. And how powerless to watch Max going through that. Those are some really big emotions for young people to carry around. To 
to have seen and to have seen what happens to the bodies. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have nightmares. <sighs> Traumatized. So, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.